One thing Richard Plunkett didn't see on his tour of North Island bull beef producers was irrigation. The farms he visited there didn't need it, but in North Otago, irrigation is an important production tool. Well, North Otago is known as a drought prone area. Generally speaking, for three months of the year, we'll have very limited rainfall, so hence the irrigation. I wouldn't be able to run a number of bulls I am as what I am now if I didn't have the irrigation because I wouldn't be able to keep that feed up to them so then I'd, I'd have to winter them that second winter. And originally it was all irrigated by K-Line and where to run the bulls was all in two hectare paddocks and I used to break fence them into, into cells and show you know, moving wires every day as you'd make your way across the paddock but then uh, you did have difficulty with K-Line and that set up. There was times when you had to have the irrigation turned off because your fences were in the road. Wanted to simplify things and the best way to do that was to um, put fixed grid irrigation in. So the sprinklers are 42 metres apart, so that gives you the width of the paddock. So now the cattle are in a short, fat rectangle than previously a long, skinny rectangle. I did investigate putting a pivot on, but we could only do half circles and it was going to be too expensive. The fixed grid appealed to me, that ability to put a little bit on often and able to grow more grass from it. So when I put the fixed grid in, I also put in um, a soil moisture probe. So I keep an eye on um, on what the soil moisture in the, in the ground is doing. I can put on seven mils in a rotation. I can put on 21 mils in a week. So generally speaking, in the middle of the summer, I'll be putting on 14 mils every seven days when it's dry. So I'm actually finding that I'm using a lot less water um, and growing I think more grass than what I originally was under the K-line. Each one is set for one hour. Because they've got areas to, to move away that doesn't cover the whole cell that they're in, they just move out of the way. Someone will graze underneath it for a little bit, but they just stand out of the way for an hour and it goes on to the next one and they just move along. Uh, one issue I did have, which we were unaware of, when we first installed it was on the long runs where the electric fence is on top of a pipe, which the control cable is in um, either beside the pipe, we're getting induction, induction from the electric fence down into the ground, and then it's coming back up into the controller and upsetting it. We've had to go along and put cutout switches on those longer runs to turn the electric fence off to those runs when the bulls aren't in there. Um, as soon as we've done that, it's, it's stopped. The shorter runs on the top half of it, there's no issue. 